Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to remove the front headlights on a BMW X3 from the year 2010 and up. On this car, in order for you to remove the headlights, you'll have to remove the bumper first. So what we'll have to do in order to remove the front bumper is to lift the hood up and if you look closely above the front bumper, you'll see right here a rubber piece which you'll have to remove and after that you'll see the bolts which are holding the bumper mounted onto the top part. So this is the rubber which I'm talking about. You'll have to push it out and after that it will reveal the bolts which are holding the bumper mounted onto the car. You'll have to use the Torx 13 to remove them and after that you can move ahead and remove the other bolts which you'll have to remove on this car. After that you'll have to move to the sides and on each side you'll have this plastic part right here at the corner and this plastic part is held in by some plastic clips and these clips made by BMW are not longer usable so those clips are one time use and to remove them you'll have to push the middle part of the clip you'll have to push it inside and after that the clip will came out so just take that in mind when you're trying to do this job make sure you have another uh, type of uh, clips later for you to install back when you're putting the bumper back onto the car after that you'll have to remove the bolts from under the front bumper as you can see you'll have a few bolts all the way on this uh, front bumper I think you'll have 12 of them and you'll have to use a 10 millimeter socket to remove all of these bolts. Okay everybody, so from here just follow what I'm doing and just look closely how I'm doing it. After you're done with removing this exterior part, you'll have to remove the shield from next to the wheel. You'll have to look under the shield and you'll see one more bolt which is holding the bumper mounted onto the frame. And you'll have to remove that bolt in order for you to remove the bumper completely from the car. As you can see, I didn't break any clips. Everything is good. Everything is perfectly. So from here, you'll have to follow me and follow what I'm doing. If you pull this shield out, like I'm doing right here, you will see inside here one more bolt. So you'll have to use a Torx 13 to remove them. I recommend you guys to remove the front wheels because in this way you will have more space and the room to work with and it will be a lot easier for you to remove and install everything back together as it was before. After you're done with removing the front wheel, you'll have to remove a few more bolts which are holding the shield mounted onto the car and only after that you'll have more access and the room to work with when you're trying to remove the rest of the bolts which are holding the front bumper mounted onto the car. Okay everybody, so after removing the shield, you'll have two more bolts which you'll have to remove. You'll have this one and this one from right here in the corner. And you'll also have one sensor, one cables from the fog light which you'll have to disconnect on each side. So you'll have one sensor right here and you'll have another sensor onto the other side which you'll have to disconnect and it's uh, located into the same location.
Okay, everybody, so I almost removed all the bolts which I have to remove on this car in order for me to remove the front bumper. I will have uh, two more bolts to remove, and to remove them, you'll have to remove the front grills. You'll have two grills which you'll have to remove. Make sure you don't break the clips and make sure you don't break the grill itself. And after that, you'll have two more bolts which you'll have to remove and is located right in the corners on uh, on each side next to the headlights. Right here, now I'm trying to remove the front wheels and after that I'll show you where the bolt is located. On each side uh, you'll have uh, one bolt uh, and in my case I saw that on the right side the bolt is missing and on the left side it's right there, this one. So you'll have another one on the other side but in my case it's broken. So after you remove this bolt you'll be able to remove everything as I told you at the beginning of this video. Make sure you disconnect all the wires, make sure you don't um, let the bumper hang onto the wires on onto the sensors because in some cases it can break and this is how to remove the front bumper on this car I'm not going to remove it completely because I don't have to remove it completely now I can show you guys how to remove the headlights and how to do this job completely from the start to finish as you can see I disconnected the cables I disconnected all the wires which I had to disconnect in order for me to pull from the bumper and uh, create enough space to remove the headlights and as you can see on this side the bolt is right there but the plastic which is holding the bolt or uh, the plastic which is holding the bumper is broken and I don't have to worry about it. So next what we have to do in order to remove the headlights is to remove the two bolts from the top. You'll have one bolt right here, this one, and you'll have another bolt right here next to the fender. This one from right here. Then you'll have to go under the headlights and this is why I told you that you'll have to remove the front bumper. So you'll, you'll see these bolts right here and you don't have uh, space and it's impossible for you to remove them without removing the front bumper first. You'll have two more bolts right here and after that you'll have to remove the connector from behind it and you'll be able to remove the headlight very easy at home and uh, with normal tools. As you all can see, this is how to remove the headlights along with the front bumper on a BMW X3. This is all the things you'll have to do in order to complete this mission. Right here, I installed everything back together as it was before. I put everything back together. And now I want to show you guys what kind of clips you have to use and you'll have to buy in order for you to complete this mission and do it very easy because you'll need new clips to install the fenders, to install the plastic from the sides of the fenders. I already installed some kind of clips. Maybe they are not exactly the same. Maybe they are not on each type, but you'll have to use clips to put everything back together. And those are the clips which I'm using. I have here a lot of bags. I am not sure if they are exactly for BMW, but if you have a different, uh, if you have different kinds of clips, you can use them and you'll be able to do this job from the start to finish. This is all you have to do. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video and found it informative, please leave a like and a comment down below. See you next time.